was lying on the field when now John Beattie stocks his prey as a newsman covering Scottish life. Barney O'Barn Beattie played at club level for Glasgow Ackies, Harriets and Hawick before going on to be capped 25 times for Scotland, making his debut in 1980. His impressive performances were noticed and he was called up to tour with the British and Irish Lions on two occasions, the 1980 tour of South Africa and the 1983 New Zealand tour. Beattie now works as a broadcaster for the BBC, hosting programmes on radio discussing sport, but more so news and issues across Scotland. But just why did the Scotland number no. 8 get into broadcasting and how did it come about? I got injured in a rugby match and um, the BBC asked me to come in and do some broadcasting with them. And because the television pictures dropped out, I had to do, I had to speak for longer than I thought I would. And they, that was the first World Cup in 1987. Then they asked me back in. From this, the BBC obviously knew that BT had some talent for being behind the mic. After having the experiences on the media side of things, this was where his future were to lie. Drawing from his times as a rugby player, the hard-working mentality stuck with him. BT wanted to kick on further in the industry. I thought, well, I don't want to be the guest. I'd rather be the presenter. Um, so I treated it like rugby. I went away and trained at it, um, practiced myself, recorded my voice, listened back, talked to television cameras in the room, and eventually got a chance to present the radio program. Much like his rugby, BT did the hard graft to make himself a better broadcaster. I tried to effectively train to make it work. BT knew that it was a difficult environment to work in, but he always tried his hardest to perform to the best of his abilities. It's a competitive job, so you know that you'll never be the favourite with everybody. There's always going to be somebody better than you. There's always somebody better. You just, I just always accepted that, that I would never be the best. Um, but I tried to work as hard as I could to be as good as I could be. Having trained to be one of the best in the industry, BT was made aware earlier on that he was part of an elite group of people. Our coaches used to always tell us, you've become something a bit special as nobody else has done this. There's only a thousand odd people have played rugby for Scotland. So I remember thinking how special it was. Having been capped 25 times for Scotland, injuries hampered BT's career and at one point things really were looking severe. I ran into a guy in Murrayfield back pitches and split my kneecap. Then that got infected and they told me I might have to have my leg chopped off. Whilst he has had and is currently having a very successful career, what are BT's plans for the future? My plans now are to see and do things. Broadcast, but see and do things, enjoy my life, be a good person. No big ambitions to rule. John BT is a very wise and level-headed man. He takes his job in the media industry, much like his previous days as a top-class rugby player. The competitive nature of the job, and the training to always be become better, is definitely something that appeals to BT. He's a true professional and is a perfect example of success after sport. Mm -hmm.